What's up guys and welcome to my review for The Old Man and the Gun. This is directed and written by David Lowry and it stars Robert Redford, Sissy Spacek, and Casey Affleck. And it's the story of Robert Redford's character who loves robbing banks and he does it his whole life and he just can't get enough of it. And that is the basics of this film. And he finds romance with Sissy Spacek's character, and Casey Affleck is the police officer detective who is hunting him down. So, first off, what I'll say about The Old Man and the Gun is I liked the movie. I thought it was a good film. I don't think it was a great film. Uh, but a definite uh, fun watch, easy watch, without end credits, the movie runs for a little less than an hour and a half. So it does go by fairly quickly, even though the second act does slow down a bit. I feel like it's strongest in the first act and the third act, first act particularly. The movie invites you in, and especially Robert Redford, just the charm of his character, just invites you in to this film and this guy just going on his shenanigans. That is the basics of this movie. He robs banks with his two other accomplices. He finds a uh, romance with Sissy Spacek, continues visiting her throughout the film. Things go a certain direction, and then the film sort of comes to a close without giving away any spoilers. I just feel overall the movie was kind of bland. Uh, not the acting, not the performances, just overall. There wasn't really much to actually latch on to emotionally, even though it is... I would say a light-hearted, entertaining film, you don't really get much into Robert Redford's character. Sure, all he does his whole life is rob banks, go to jail, escape, rob banks. You know, this is, uh, as they say in the opening of the movie, pretty much a true story. Mostly a true story. So, I didn't really do any research into the character, but the way the movie ends, I kind of wanted to know, well what happens next, because this movie does take place in the 70s, I wanted to know how the character, or how the guy ultimately died. Where did he die? Did he die in prison? Did he not die in prison? I was just kind of curious. The movie kind of just leaves you hanging. You just get a glimpse into the later portion of his life, which, like I said, is entertaining, but I don't feel like you get enough there. You get, it, the movie barely scratches the surface into his past life. Does he have a family? Doesn't he have a family? It's hinted upon, but it's never really fully realized. And I wish it was. Uh, the script is, is very paper thin. I don't think that the dialogue is bad. I just wanted a little more weight there. Casey Affleck's character, I feel, has the most weight in the movie uh, with what we see with him and his home life. Uh, and, and all this in the beginning of the film we get the idea that he doesn't really like his job and he's just going with the motions and all of a sudden when Robert Redford's character rises again and he's robbing banks we suddenly see Casey Affleck's character get that spark in him again to now really want to find him and hunt him down and uh, that that works for me I think his character was Probably my favorite character of the movie. He's great in the film. It would be very nice to see him get a Best Supporting Actor nomination, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, a lot of people I hear are saying that Robert Redford is a shoe in to get a Best Lead Actor nomination. Uh, I wouldn't be upset if he did, because apparently this is his last acting role, but never say never. Uh, I believe that that's what he said, but I don't think this movie really stretches his acting abilities. Uh, it's just a very straightforward, charming, witty character. A very likable character that gets you through the film. Uh, and overall, I did like the movie. I think his uh, chemistry between Sissy Spacek and him is, is, is good. They have very good back and forth. Uh, I just wanted a little more. I was interested. I was invested. I just, I just wanted more into his character and just a little more meat to the film overall. I'm going to give The Old Man and the Gun... Three and a half out of five stars. I did like it. I thought it was a good movie. Uh, definitely a uh, fun, uh, easy watch uh, overall. But guys, do you plan on seeing this movie? What do you think about Robert Redford as an actor? What are some, what are some of your favorite Robert Redford movies? Comment in the comments. Also, guys, if you want to see me do more movie reviews like this, 
I'm starting new things on my channel, PlayStation 4 uh, game walkthroughs, uh, playthroughs. I'm doing Kingdom Hearts Final Mix right now. My first chapter of that is up. Check that out. Give me feedback. Let me know how that's going. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, make it a little better uh, the second episode, but I do need to get more views on that because it just takes up a lot of time. Uh, so if you want to see me do more stuff like this, more Blu-ray unboxings uh, to give away more digital copy codes, please follow me on Patreon to support the channel. We can help grow the channel. Uh, the link to that is in the description of this video. Also, guys, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. You can follow me on Instagram at KingArises131. If you're interested in a digital copy code for Mamma Mia, here we go again. All I have to do is check out my unboxing video, which is up on this channel now, uh, for a chance to find out how to, to win that. Uh, guys, that's what I thank you very much for watching. My review for The Old Man and the Gun. Over and out.